I'm so shiny. Why? Why am I so shiny? My new sunglasses. I literally feel like a, like a movie star in them or something. So I just keep them on my head the whole video and be like, oh my god, it's sunny outside. Oh wait, it's been raining for the past like three days. Let's stop trying to be Beyonce because that's never gonna happen. Hey guys, I'm back to Cutie Fish. I feel like this video is a bit dark. Can you see me properly? I don't know. Because I'm using natural lighting for the first time in ages and I'm stood up. Um, obviously this is where I usually film, but I just fancied a change. I decided to stand up. It was still light outside. So why not use natural light rather than like fake? <laughs> why I sounded so like negative about fake. I like my fake lighting. I also look very shiny, but... I'm just gonna ignore that. I'm gonna say it's a youthful glow. I'm glowing from within. Or maybe my skin's just shiny. So today I'm going to be doing a video that's... I was gonna say it's not really planned, but... Are any of my videos very planned? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say the thing that you like about me, if you like me, you might hate me, there's two thumbs down, there's at least two thumbs down in every video within the first like 10 minutes. So two people obviously have a very strong dislike of me, which is kind of the theme of this video. Not those two people because they don't need any attention. But um, the theme is kind of, I suppose, being mean. <laughs> I'm such a child. I'm mean to me. I suppose being like mean, being negative, um, versus being nice to people. Um, so this is going to be part of my positivity series because it does link into positivity and because I'm stood up I'm going to be moving around a lot because obviously I watch my videos back and I move my arms a lot so when I'm stood up the exact same thing happens but with my arms and my legs so I end up just being like all over the place but you're going to have to deal with it, okay? <laughs> Sorry. I just have a lot of energy which I didn't have like all day I've been like because I was in school I was just there like eh. now I've got home and I'm like I'm not like that though, am I? I'm not. I'm a tea. This is going to be one of those videos where I just have kind of like a topic, I guess, and I just talk about it. I haven't even really thought about it much, but I mean, I have thought about it in general, but I haven't thought about what I'm going to say in this video. So we'll just see what happens. And if this is a load of rubbish, then I'm sorry, but. <laughs> I don't know. Decided so I'm going to start if I do vlogs, putting them up on Wednesday. So I put a vlog up on Wednesday this week, and then was like, I don't actually have a video for Friday. <laughs> so now I'm filming a video for Friday since I have time. And it's about being nice. So basically, overall, my thoughts are... It, <laughs> it basically stems back to what you were told in primary school. And I'm sure every single person has heard this. And if you haven't heard it, then I'm going to enlighten you to a phrase that would make everything so much simpler. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. This can we... Can, I can, you can look at this, what I'm saying, it can apply to tiny little small scales, so like one person, I'm going to take this bobble off my wrist, one person being mean to someone else, or being cruel, or horrible, or even bullying someone else, or you can link it to higher up, and look at problems like politically, wars, you can look at mass shootings, which is obviously something that's very serious and very prevalent in the media at the moment. I'm not going to focus too much on that because I feel like I'm not educated enough on that sort of thing. Obviously, I think I don't understand why it's 2016 and there's such awful gun laws in the States, but I'm not even, I'm not going to get started on that because else people are going to start like, me, 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 you don't know what you're talking about, and I'll be like, <laughs> That's where I sound like that. Anyway, so what I'm talking about can be looked at small scale or large scale because it all stems down to individual people's attitudes um, and individual people's like behaviour. So honestly, as a person, personally, I try my hardest to be nice to everybody and to never look at people in a bad light, never judge people based on if I don't know them or never, <laughs> don't judge people even if I do know them. Like everybody's entitled to do what they want. And if it hurts you or if it's negatively affecting you, remove yourself from it. Don't like start problems. <laughs> Don't cause beef, okay? Obviously, I'm not a perfect human being, contrary to popular belief. I'm joking. <laughs> but um, no, I'm not a perfect human being. So sometimes I do, some, I'm around people and I'm just like, really annoying me. Or I'm like, 
but like to my siblings, I'm like, guys, can you just shut up? But like, oh my god, you can. but um, I'm <laughs> not perfect. Who is? Nobody, okay? Contra like, nobody's perfect, okay? If I can, I make an active effort to be nice to everybody and to see everybody in a positive light. And if somebody is looking like they don't have anybody to talk to or they're sat on their own, I do consciously try and like make them feel involved, make them feel happy because I've 100% been that person that's been in a group of people and just been sort of sat there like I kind of know these people but kind of not really and nobody seems to want to talk to me and I don't really have anything interesting to add to the conversation so I'm just gonna sit here awkwardly. I've been that person, I've been that person many a time. So if I feel like somebody is not involved or I feel like somebody looks like like down, it could just be something bad's happened, they just haven't talked about it or anything. I will try, if I can, to talk to them and involve them. But obviously, like I said, not perfect. However, I feel like if everybody tried to do that and tried to be considerate of everybody else <laughs> and not say mean things to people, even if it's little mean things that you kind of say as a joke, even if... Okay, too many thoughts. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of a thing that our generation is... Is? A thing that our generation does... And that is to insult people that we're friends with. And it's, I feel like there's a fine line between it being like a joke and your best friends and you can say whatever you want to them and it being like me. <laughs> because even if you're best friends with somebody and even if you like can make jokes to them and know it won't affect them, how do you know it won't affect them? Even if they laugh it off, like some people take things less seriously than others and some people might get told every day like, hey you look awful today and then actually take it to heart whereas other people will get told that and won't take it to heart so I feel like you should try and compliment people I, personally I hate being complimented <laughs> as people that compliment me will know because I just, oh, I get really like, are you joking? like, I don't know when people are like so, say for example if like my sister says oh my god you look so pretty today I'm automatically like what's wrong with me? Have I got something on my, like, face? Like, I assume that she's saying that, like, as a joke or sarcastically or, like, I don't know, I don't know, because, because <laughs> we are so used to people being horrible, whether it's jokingly or real, that when people actually compliment us, we don't know what to do. And also, we don't know how to compliment people. If I was to somebody, I, like, see people all the time where I'm just like, oh my god, her hair is beautiful, or I'm like, oh my god, her makeup is on point, or like, I love her skirt, I want that skirt, but I feel so, like, Oh, I want to tell her, but will she think that's weird? But we should. <laughs> if we see somebody and we think they look fabulous or, like, they... I don't know, anything. It doesn't have to be appearance, but I can't think of another example to compliment somebody on. But just, like, I feel like if we all made an effort to be, like, be inclusive with people and make sure people aren't feeling, like, down or left out or, like... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> other negative emotions insert here please um then make an effort to include them and make an effort to like compliment people rather than keep knocking them and bringing them down and I feel like I'm talking very much in real life um and by real life I mean face to face with people but this is also so prevalent on social media too obviously as a youtuber somebody who posts youtube videos I get comments on my videos and when somebody comments on my videos being like Oh my god, you're so pretty. It honestly makes me feel so like, yeah. Mainly because I'm like, that person's so nice. But then also it just makes me feel a bit like, oh, like the fact that somebody would go out of their way to comment that. It just like, it just like puts a smile on my face. But when people comment things, I mean, I feel like I'm very lucky. I get very few negative comments. But when I do get negative comments, I try and ignore them because I'm like, <laughs> you must like, what are you doing with your life? If you're on the internet posting negative things to people, then, like, A, you've got way too much time on your hands, you need to go and do something. And, like, B, you must feel so awful about yourself to do that. And I know it's something we always say, like, oh, like, haters must have such bad lives. But it's true, to, to have the time to do that, to have the inclination to do that, you must feel, oh, and I don't want to glorify hater, like, haters and talk about them, but and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I think that if people online particularly made an effort to be nice like I said I don't receive many negative comments at all but some people do and some people will receive comments that are really cruel and we've all heard stories but these stories actually happen of people online being told things like 
or just being constantly dug at, being like, oh my god, you've gained weight, oh my god, your hair is disgusting, oh my god, you sound like a boy, like, things that might bring them down, it might be things they're self-conscious about already, they c people go to the extent, if somebody's got an opinion they don't agree with, of being like, you should go die, if you're not vegan, you should go jump off a cliff, like, and some people really just hate things take these things to heart and I feel like in general in life if we didn't say these negative things like why are people negative? <laughs> My gun's looking good. <laughs> if, we, if we didn't say these negative things and we made an active effort to say positive things or not to say anything at all then everybody would be so much happier and less like self-conscious people would do more a lot of people don't put themselves out there because they're so scared about what other people are going to say um with my youtube channel at first i like considered deleting it several times when people like first started finding it um because i like because of i was scared of what they were going to say and the fact that pe like worrying about what other like other people being mean basically could prevent people from doing what they like it's just awful so i suppose the message behind this video is just <laughs> Be nice to people, don't be mean, um, and if people are being mean, then stick up for them. I especially when it's people that they're friends with, and talking about somebody behind their back, especially when they could find out that you're talking about them behind your back, I mean, you shouldn't do it anyway, but it's just so cruel, like, like if you don't like them, don't waste your time on them. I just think in general we all need to try and think of people in a more positive light than looking to bring other people down, or not even looking to bring people other down, but bringing other people down by saying offhand comments or mean comments. Basically, be positive, be a nice person, make an active effort to make people happy in your day-to-day -day life. And I feel like a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, you're so cringy. Like, everybody knows you've got to be nice, but why are, not, why are more people not nice then? Because I see so many examples of, I see, don't get me wrong, I see so many, there's so many nice people in my school and there's so many nice people online, but I feel like we could up the amount of nice people a tiny little bit and the world would be so much nicer. So that is my video for you today. I'd like to hear your thoughts on everything that I've said. <laughs> um, thumbs this up if you enjoyed it and thumbs it down if you hate me because some of you do. <laughs> and subscribe to see more of my face. Please don't thumbs down though, that was a joke. <laughs> I'll see your beautiful face next time. Love you lots like jelly tarts. Bye! person. Can many things go your way? <laughs> I, I'm always a nice person. That was maybe a mean person to get it because it was a joke.